I'm Mayor Oliver Gilbert from the city of Miami Gardens and I'm coming to you with some important information about COVID-19. Black people are not immune from COVID-19, period. In fact, COVID-19 can pose a greater risk to black people. Now's the time to separate fact from fiction. The numbers don't lie. Based on the Centers for Disease Control and the World Health Organization, COVID-19 is extremely harmful to older adults and those with a compromised immune system. A disproportionate number of black Americans suffer from chronic diseases such as hypertension, cardiovascular disease, and diabetes, all of which equal a compromised immune system. The prevalence of high blood pressure among black Americans is the highest in the world. Black American women are 20% more likely to have asthma than white women. The risk of diabetes is 77% higher among black Americans than white Americans. We're having this conversation because after I announced the postponement of Jazz in the Gardens, I was inundated with comments mostly asking why we would postpone Jazz in the Gardens because black people can't get COVID-19 or Corona as it's called. Some among us may believe that we are excluded from this virus. I assure you that we are not. Washing your hands, avoiding large gatherings, staying home if you feel sick, going to the doctor at the first sign of a fever, and covering your mouth when you cough are not suggestions. They are our new reality in combating COVID-19. These things have to happen, literally. Those decisions could be life or death. Black Americans, this risk is ours to own. COVID-19 does not recognize race, ethnicity, sex, age, or religion, and it does not discriminate. Let's remain vigilant and adhere to the safety guidelines. We can't afford not to.